What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Listen, if you saw my last video where I talked about fishing etiquette and don't be that guy, yeah, I'm coming back to do this video to say that I was wrong, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you a couple of places where I was wrong and then give you an overall understanding of how the whole situation happened because in that video, we really left out some context. Uh, so my good buddy Joe Drowns and I are actually set up on this flat. And this flat's about a foot and a half to maybe three foot of water at the deepest, uh, probably two foot on average. And this gentleman comes down the channel out way out behind us and actually turns to cut across the flat and goes right between us. And we're literally within conversational distance from each other. Um, and then the shore behind us where the woods are is only about another 50 to 75 yards. Now in the video, because we're using GoPro, everything looks like it's a lot further away. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I lost my cool. And I even skipped the bait right behind his boat just to show him how close he was. So am I justified in being upset? Possibly. But here's the problem with that. Anybody can justify their reaction. And when we're out there on the water, it really is incumbent that we're good to each other. And at the end of the video, after I kind of relaxed, and, and the whole purpose of me releasing the video was to get the point across that I made after I calmed down. But even that being said, uh, some of the folks have responded and said something like, eh, you're, you, you seem entitled, you think you own the water. And so at first I started responding to those videos and saying to, to those folks, no, 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 you don't understand. But then when I went back and watched the video without the context and I said to myself, okay, let me see it through their lens. Let me see it from their point of view. I got to be honest with you and say, I can see it, okay? So first and foremost, I want to apologize for misrepresenting us in that video. And secondly, I want to apologize for my reaction because to be honest with you, I say this all the time. We're not in charge of how other people treat us. We're only in charge of the only thing we're in charge of in our life is how we react and how we treat other people. And I'm on this journey, you know, to be a better person. And it, and it started with, you know, a year or so before my divorce, starting to have things about my own personality that I identified that were tied to rage that was centered around PTSD and figuring out what my triggers are and things like that. And, and again, I'm not justifying my behavior because in the video, you know, it was my natural and raw reaction after I had worked hard for three or four days to find this spot. We're set up out there. We're really in a place that was just perfect. And that fed into my frustration. You know, the angler should have never cut through that spot because it's not where the channel was. And he was in there tearing up the eelgrass. But that all being said, I should not have reacted the way I reacted. I should have said, Hey man, listen, you know, what you should have done for, for next time is maybe go around my buddy over there and stay in the channel. Uh, I appreciate you coming off a plane, um, but you are really in a bad spot. This water is so shallow that you shouldn't be going through here in a bass boat. Uh, but man, just in the, in the future, don't try to run between kayak anglers. I would have been better received. I would have better represented us as kayak anglers. And maybe that guy's had kayak anglers cut him off in the past, and this was his way of getting back. And my reaction to get all frustrated and yell at the guy is only gonna deepen that animosity between our groups. And so for me to say a lot of the things that I've been saying in the past and then act that way, kind of made me a hypocrite. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. And so again, I fault myself for reacting the way that I reacted. When I released the video and my son Austin edited it, and I did watch it and proof it, the idea was to show that we should all be better to each other. That being said, we all have a tendency to not look at our own behavior. So I appreciate the folks of you that called me out on it because I did come across entitled. I did come across acting like I own the water, but the idea was you shouldn't come that close to between the two of us again. That all being said, my better response would have been, hey buddy, hey, listen, man, I appreciate you coming off plane, but if you could do me a favor in the future, try not to cut between a couple of kayak anglers and you know, give us 50, 60 yards because we work really hard to find these fish and you just kind of ruined the fishing spot for the rest of the day. I appreciate you. Have a good day, man. Hope y'all catch them, blah, blah, blah. And again, that would have gone a lot further. You know, there's, a, there's this old saying that, um, th that I came across a few years ago. Uh, it's really nice to be important, but it's way more important uh, to be nice. And I've got to learn that lesson. And, uh, you know, if I'm going to consider myself a leader in this industry, then I've got to lead better. And so I don't do these empty apologies like, you know, people do when they get called on the carpet. Uh, by and large, I, I watched the video. I felt like it was good. I then released it. 
But then seeing some of the responses, at first I started getting defensive and then I went, wait a minute. If it was one person, I could see it, but there's several comments about it. Let me back up, let me take a harder look at it. And again, the only thing that we can control is how we act and how we react. So y'all do me a favor, be good to each other, be good to those that aren't even that good to you. And I think we'll have better experiences in the outdoors and maybe not frustrate that person to where then they screw up somebody else's fishing day and it turns into a tit for tat. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't watched that last video yet, please go ahead and do. Tell me if you think I was entitled. Again, I own it, okay? One of the things that you have to do when you're going through this journey for self-improvement is you have to be objective and take objective criticism and, you know, and take uh, construction, or, you know, take feedback, okay? And so I, I accept it. So in this video, I'm not justifying my behavior. I'm explaining it, but I am 100% falling on the sword saying I could have done better. So y'all do me a favor. Let's all be better to each other. And I'll see you guys in the next video.